What's up guys, this is Sonny back with another video and today real quick I'm making this video so I can give you guys a quick update on my uh, Ryzen Torch 2.1 also that's my main workstation right now uh, and also I do have my Windows 10 installed also in this build so I can play my favorite games like Apex Legend, Overwatch and maybe sometimes GTA 5 but GTA 5 is kinda getting old. Alright guys, so First thing first, uh, you guys remember uh, this in this build I have a Ryzen 1600 CPU and a motherboard ASRock A320 motherboard. Now you guys know I hate A320 motherboard. I got the motherboard for really cheap and at that very moment I was kind of in budget but I can't overclock with A320 chipset so I'm, I'm like really pissed. I'm like you know what I need a B450 motherboard at least and the reason I wanted to get a B450 motherboard so when MD Ryzen 3000 series CPU comes out I don't have to worry about my motherboard not working because you know it should yeah maybe I don't get a PCI uh, you know 4.0 but at least the PCI 3.0 will work and uh, MD Ryzen 3000 series uh, CPU will work in this motherboard I can test uh, maybe overclock and benchmark for you guys. So I went to Micro Center, I picked up this Gigabyte B450M DS uh, 3H uh, MATX motherboard and uh, the reason I picked up a MATX motherboard because the case I'm uh, using uh, Rosewell FBM X2 case, a Micro ATX case. So there was a lot of other motherboard there like a full ATX but I wanted the MATX because my desk case space is really really, I don't have, I, don't, I really don't have space on my desk, okay. And another reason I picked up this uh, motherboard card, this motherboard comes with 8 USB port and I do have a lot of stuff I connect to my computer from my keyboard, mouse, uh, headphone, I got uh, webcam, I got a lot of things, I got a bunch of stuff I, I need to plug in, I need a lot of USB. I know I can add a hub, I don't like hub because I don't like to put a lot of stuff on my desk. So this motherboard guys, I want to talk about this motherboard, this uh, Gigabyte B450M uh, motherboard, this motherboard is a badass motherboard. Now I don't mean badass by spec wise because this motherboard only come with uh, 4 plus 3 phase uh, VRM. So you know, don't accept this motherboard to give you like maybe uh, 4 gigahertz overclock or 4.2 gigahertz overclock, not going to happen. I managed to overclock my Ryzen 1600 with this motherboard uh, to 3.9 gigahertz. Now I I had to dial around uh, 1.37 volt. Okay, without 1.37 volt, uh, I couldn't stable uh, my Ryzen 1600. But I was surprised. This budget $51 motherboard I picked up from Micro Center. It was open box, and I managed to overclock my uh, Ryzen 1600 to 3.9 gigahertz and running stable. Now also. I picked up AMD Ray uh, Prism Cooler from Facebook Market. So this person was selling, uh, you know, his uh, Ray uh, Prism Cooler in Facebook Market because he picked up a liquid cooler and he, uh, you know, he put a post for like thirty dollar. I was like, listen, I can come pick up right now if you give me that cooler for like. $25 because that's all I have cash in my pocket and I don't feel like to go in bank or ATM So he's like, you know what bro? Just come pick it up. I picked up that Raid Prism cooler. The cooler is so beautiful man That thing had got RGV and you know the Raid Prism cooler that cooler comes with uh, MD Ryzen uh, 7 2700X, okay? You can pick up this cooler from maybe eBay or somewhere for like 40 50 bucks but I was really excited so I picked up the cooler picked up this motherboard and you guys would be surprised the temperature I was getting so I was stress testing the CPU with Ida 64 for around like 10 minutes just to see the temperature so the highest temp I got with the side panel close around 76 Celsius now mind you, the ambient room temperature was around like maybe uh, 24 Celsius, okay? And also the idle temp was for the CPU before I start like uh, uh, stress testing was around like 39 Celsius. So I was really impressed. You know, I'm using a cheap motherboard, okay? I overclocked my CPU to 3.9 gigahertz. I'm using a stock AMD Ray Prism cooler and I'm getting like aftermarket cooler performance. I was really excited. So. 
I was really I was really happy and I want to share with you guys I wanted to make this quick video and I just want to tell you guys like man I'm loving my uh, personal uh, workstation build if you guys are wondering why this monitor is not working because uh, the cable is not working so the cable I have is not working so don't mind you guys may be thinking why he turned off the monitor I know I wanted to turn this monitor on so it kind of looks good in the video but I couldn't so yeah guys my two cents okay i wanted to share with you guys and uh yeah you can definitely check out this motherboard gigabyte b450m uh ds3h motherboard you can pick up this one from micro center for around 66 dollar it's a great motherboard uh i managed to overclock my cpu to uh 3.9 gigahertz and again uh the most fed temperature while uh, I was stress testing the CPU the most fed temperature was somewhere around 74 Celsius so it wasn't all that hot uh, the top MOSFET doesn't have uh, any heatsink on and the, the, the side one by the IO shield comes with like a smaller uh, like a heatsink so but it's okay 72 73 Celsius uh, you know for the MOSFET is okay so MOSFET didn't get all that hot so don't worry you are not going to uh, burn out the motherboard also you know I, I do have the factory warranty and uh, I did also buy a uh, store warranty from micro center uh, for two years I paid on $699 alright guys uh, real quick I want to share with you guys um, my build and how it's running uh, if you guys have any question don't forget to leave in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys see you guys next one peace